I want to make a confession because I do understand because this mindset, I had this behavior, I had this mindset. When I was first introduced to these uh, pro-black teachings and blackity black, all this blackness stuff, And when you begin to learn what happened to us as a people, and when you begin to realize what is happening to you now, simply because of the color of your skin, it makes you angry. Here I am. I'm not a brave person. I'm not a hero. I'm none of these things. I'm I'm not bad. Real, real bad. <laughs> I'm not I'm not bad. I was just a little boy. I was just a child who became angry at mistreatment. And so I began to develop a hatred. A hatred towards those who caused myself and the people that I am born from harm, suffering, even death. So I can confess and I can admit hate for those who hate me. Even to the point I had no problem should it had came to me or somebody wanted me to join participate in extreme violence what they would call now terrorism. Hate is a very powerful emotion. When I became a FOI, a fruit of Islam, in New York in the 1980s, we were in competition or we were in conflict with the followers of Wallace or Warth Dean Muhammad. They were calling themselves Bilalians at the time. And I did not like them because they were in the way of what I was supporting which was the words and the program of Minister Louis Farrakhan. But even though we were in conflict, because they were black, I did not feel that kind of hatred where I would want to hurt my brothers because simply because we disagree or we are at odds. I would rather turn away from the situation. But I do understand hate Because of my humanitarian mindset, a conflict with the pro-black mindset because the reality is the pro-black mindset has no, it is no different from the racist white people. 
They have no empathy for others. It's all about them. They don't care anything about others' hurt and pain. And that is how it is with pro-blackness. And you will hear them say that. I only care about black people. And we will see how much they care as we continue our talk. They have no empathy for others. I feel so shame when I was a child, even though I did not hate, but I would call our people, the people that I'm born from because they disagree with my mindset. I will call them Uncle Tom and Coon and Sambo. And y'all do that to this day, you know, Raccoon. and. But these are the same people that love you. I love black people. Black is beautiful. These are the same ones that will slice your throat. These are the same ones that will put a bomb under your car. These ones who love. Hate. So last year we were in a situation where we unfortunately had to go back and forth with this poor lost sister who clearly is suffering from some type of mental dysfunction. And you would think those who love black people, you would think that they would, especially when they know the relationship, the close relationship I had with this sister. You would think because I love black people, I want to try to heal instead of harm. I hope they are happy because she is now totally destroyed. I hope they are happy. But they don't mind destroying a sister, a black woman or a black person that they claim they love when they have hatred for somebody. I don't care what happens to her as long as I can destroy Angel Snub Nub 7. There are those I have not done anything to these people to warrant such hatred. But they decided to join together because of their hate of a black man that they claim that they love. We're going to team up and we're going to join at the expense the destruction of another human being as long as we bring down Angel Snub Nub Seven. So now this poor woman destroyed. It's a hell of a thing because the last time we saw her, instead of seeking to destroy, our brother, Tahaka Bay, did present to her, oh, this is a love thing. I'm going to heal this. I'm going to get this back together. That's what Tahaka Bay, the con man, the scam artist, the criminal, this is what he brought to the plate. And of course, because all these hate filled people were it was in her ear, she decided to stay in the hate. So with all your hate, with all your slander and all your gossip and everything that you dished out, what did your hate get you? It got you nothing. 
Our hate get us nothing. This pro-blackness Pat African, listen to them talk. Hateful people. And when you hear them speak, their words of hatred, vile and profane and nasty. Their words of hate is more animated emotional when they hate their own brother and sister that they claim that they love. I love this woman. That's my sister. But can't you see that your sister is hurting? She's in pain. But She's doing something that you want because you have this obsession and this hatred for Angel Snub Nub 7 because you don't like what Angel Snub Nub 7 or how I describe your belief, your ideology. I show and expose the error in your ways. So you are in denial. So destroy Angel Snub Nub 7 and I feel better. Destroy the messenger. I have yet met anyone who has actually decided to challenge the doctrine or the opinion or the ideology, whatever you want to call it, from this ministry. I have yet to see someone besides name calling and trying to make mockery. They have not made no effort to challenge Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign. They have not done that. And so since they can't challenge reality's temple on earth, they can't challenge Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign. Let's try to destroy the messenger. And their hatred of me drove them for months. But see, they lost long time ago. And when the conflict became redundant, we decided we don't want no more. It's over because it's redundant. And so when we became silent, they became silent because the war was lost for them long time ago. And they were happy to stop getting their ass whooped. But they brought the hate. I said nothing that was a lie. I said nothing that was an error. It was all true. So I hope that they're happy that this poor woman is destroyed and they're laying back in the cut looking silly and stupid and what did you get out of all of it you got nothing but that's what happens when your mind is filled with hatred hate is an emotion it does not allow us and it hinders proper thinking so you keep on hating. Look where you have found yourself. Nothing.